nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, everybody Hey, guess what? We are in Indiana now. We left early this morning, almost uh, two and three quarter hours ago, probably, that we left. Yeah. I don't know when we're going to make a pit stop, but uh, we have about 98 miles to go to uh, Indiana 49. We'll take that across over there to. Uh, I guess that's cold Highway I-80, I believe it is. And then we'll be in Chicago there probably in about two hours. But we don't decide to stop somewhere, you know. So we'll be bright and early in Chicago. Yeah. Well, that was my plan originally anyways. Get up early and then uh, start making my way home. Sitting all day yesterday, pretty much. I did a little bit of driving, not too much though. And here we are, back at it again. Pretty much have two full days to go. So we'll kind of see how far we can actually make it today. I think about Black River Falls, or maybe a little past that. We'll see exactly how far, but I haven't really looked at it yet. Yeah, I figured, yeah, I'll get the first couple hours in before we even look at that, you know. Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day out here today. Nice and sunny. At least it's not windy like it was yesterday. At least not so far. It looks like there's a little bit of a wind, but yesterday it was just crazy. It was crazy windy yesterday. I mean, my truck was just rocking back and forth all the time, you know. But not today, at least not so far, so hopefully it'll stay like that. Get some good fuel mileage. Probably fuel the truck up there in South Beloit again. That's where I fueled last, so... Probably go over there again. So we gotta go through Chicago before we get there. Other than that, I don't got much. <laughs> continue on with our journey home we will be home for the weekend though if everything goes according to plan should be home tomorrow night which is Friday night perfect can't ask for anything better than that being a long-distance truck driver I guarantee you that getting home on a Friday evening that's pretty rare it doesn't happen very often Especially without it being planned, on my part at least. I never told him I wanted to be home for this weekend. It's kind of nice to have two weekends in a row back to back to be home. Last weekend I did request to be home, but this weekend I did not. Hey, I'm going to take it. I could probably ask him if they would allow me to take this load. Uh, yeah, this load is actually going to Winnipeg. At first I thought it was going to Madison, but it's actually going to, uh, to Winnipeg. So yeah, it's not going any further anyway. So <laughs> had a brain fart there for a second. Here we go, guys. We are going to get off of this US 30. Going to go on to uh, Indiana 49. <clears throat> And we'll take that over there to the uh, toll road because there's a ton and ton and ton of traffic lights if I continue on this way. This way is supposedly supposed to be a lot better. So we got nine miles to I-80, I-90 according to RJ. I stopped over here at the pilot just before this 49 there. Yeah, so 
Subway in there, so I had me a Subway sandwich in there. Plus I had my half an hour off, you know. That I'm required to take anyway, so should be good to go now. Continue on this road for nine miles. Except I have to fuel so polite yet, but other than that, we're good to go. Yeah. So let's see what Chicago will bring us today. Hopefully it will be a smooth ride traveling through there. Pretty sure we can make her up to Black River today. Black River Falls, that is. It uh, has gotten windy again. Like I said earlier, yesterday it was fairly windy. And when I got out over here at the uh, at the uh, pilot over here, it actually uh, was fairly windy. to show you guys a little bit about this truck right here look at them two boxes that he's got on top of the mother boxes there they're holding up by a bungee cord and one of the lid there is getting ready to fall off now what do you guys think is that load securement issue or what do you guys think to me that looks pretty bad I think he's got a load securement issue I really do think it is we're cruising along here on high what is it 94 not even too sure which we're which one we're on 294 whatever 294 or 94 I think it's 94 or 80 80 90 whatever I have no idea anyways we're having fun we're coming into Chicago area we're still in Indiana but we're we're already part of Chicago starts anyways I just had to show you guys that little bit of the clip there let you guys see what kind of truckers we see out here sometimes. Alrighty guys, we are leaving the Fly and J here in South Beloit, Illinois. We filled up the truck. Now we are ready to go back on the road. Yeah. Nice sunshine, but it's windy like crazy. Yeah, but we are going to continue on anyways, no matter what. In 900 feet, turn left on Gardner Street, US 51. Now we're all full of go, -go juice. Now we're good to go. So let's get back on the big road and the interstate. Yeah, we'll be entering Wisconsin here very soon. Just over the interstate, we make a left and we will be in Wisconsin. Yeah, I looked up uh, how far it was to Black River. I think it's like three hours, three hours from here. So I got in a quarter mile pretty much the black river falls, that's where I'll probably be ending, west. ending up for the night. In 0 0.2 miles take the entrance to the left on I-39 north I-90 west. I think that's where we're going to go for tonight. Black river I think it is. Construction ahead. We got a Walmart there in Black River Falls too, across from the Flying J almost. I might go into the Walmart there and do a little shopping today. I just might. Don't know for sure, but... I know my wife always uses the uh, one type of polishing cream for our hardwood flooring. It's like a four-in-one. Like it's a polishing, cleaning, re restoring, and keeping a nice finish and all in one type deal. 
so every once in a while if I got the chance I stop in there and grab a few bottles and that way uh, we're good for a while you know actually also my buddy there from Winnipeg his wife likes that kind of stuff too so they always order that from me as well so sometimes I even get that for them as well And here we go. Here comes Wisconsin. Yeah. We finally cleaned up the mirrors a little bit and the side windows, they were really dirty. Yeah. So let's put the hammer down and get back on the big road and have ourselves a fantastic rest of the day. Miles and miles of trucks rolling end to end. What a sight to see! How did it all begin? Corporal Norm said, Help me! So the drivers all pitched in, and with hearts of gold, they hit the road for his special friends. Now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything They all come together the same time every year From coast to coast, north to south, they graciously appear Bringing hope and lots of love, loaded on 18 wheels They'll jam some gears and shed some tears to show how truckers feel There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load when those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Well, the humming of the engines, the blowing of the horns The black smoke filling up the air It's the greatest show on earth Imagine what it's worth to that smiling face who sees someone that cares. There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. To that special athlete, it means everything. Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything to continue on a little bit past Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Yeah, up here at mile marker 88, there's a truck stop up there. And that's exactly up to where I can make it with my hour. So uh, I have decided to go up there with my uh, truck and trailer, I guess you want to call it. But yeah, I can perfectly legally make it up to there. So we are going to put the hammer down over there. Yep, that's going to be an early stop, but uh, that's all right. We'll be there about quarter after five. 
Well, that means that uh, quarter after three tomorrow morning we can uh, do our pre-trip and uh, by 3.30 we should be able to roll again. So that means early tomorrow afternoon we should be home. Yeah. That would be nice. That really would be nice. I think so. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, I think that's what we will be doing. We'll go home. Uh, we'll try and make it home early so that way I have or I can enjoy tomorrow's evening yet with the family, you know. But, uh, it's been a good day. This wind has finally died down on us. It really has. I'm hoping that all of you guys are uh, going to be entering to win a t-shirt. And uh, I guess when I did the live show there, I... I guess I was talking about it over a, a long period of time and uh, what I was going to say again was uh, I will wait till the 12th when we announce who's won the t-shirt then uh, whoever it is, if it's a female or male or whatever they can choose uh, different type of shirts, you know uh, female shirts, they are women's shirts, and they got uh, men's shirts, so uh, So yeah, we can uh, definitely uh, Choose different type of t-shirts and different colors and, and uh, We'll send that to you guys no matter where you live in the, in the world Yep As long as these guys will allow me to ship it up there, we'll ship it up, you, up to you there but. Yep, well if they don't, I guess I could always get it shipped to my house and then I would ship it from Canada to your place. That's right. Yep, but it's definitely noticeable that uh, winter is just around the corner. I only got like 17 degrees right now. Yeah. But we're gonna go over to the truck so there's another penner over there yeah gotta say hi to him you know so let's get over to the truck stop and then uh, we'll see what we will be able to show you over there here we go guys this is it we are at exit 88 look at that cow way up there on the sign I actually got a bull I said cow, but they actually got a bull, a bull up there, right up here to the right. Actually looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so anyways. I don't remember what they all got up here, but I know there's a truck stop in here. That's where we're gonna go to. Got the green arrow. Oh, look at that. They even got a chicken up here. Look at there, to the right. Got a chicken up there. Gallo. Yeah. They got some kind of restaurant feet, or something. Turn right on Oak Grove Road. And then there. turn left in 300 feet. I know they got a family restaurant up there in the, in the truck stuff, but uh, sometimes a mom and pop store, you know, is better. I will grab a bite to eat, you know. In 200 feet, turn left on Gunderson Road. And yeah. then turn left in 500 feet. I know RJ is screaming at me, he don't like me going down here. Because I didn't have it set to go here, you know. I just had it set to go home. In 400 feet, turn left on That's right. the top road, and then turn left in 400 feet. Well, here we are. Oh, these guys even got a scale in here. It's not a cat scale, but they got a scale in there. We got uh, 574 miles to go home to. <laughs> We're all over the place, you know. Alrighty, time to take the sunglasses off, I guess. I think we're gonna go find a spot over there. Should be plenty of room in here still. It's early. It's like eight minutes after five right now. 
Yep. Usually at that time you can just about park wherever you like. Not quite, but almost, you know. He's already parked for the day, it looks like. Oh, look at that. A flatbed up there is holding a fire bear truck. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go right in here. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, that sun is bright. <laughs> yeah. It really is bright. So, that's it, guys. We are done. We are done. There we go. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, guys, that's it. <clears throat> Starting to close my curtain. Well, the sun is shining really bright into here, so figure I close her up and I'm gonna go to bed because I want to get out of here early, 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 early tomorrow. As I told you guys earlier, at 3 30, I can get out of here. So that means at least at 3 o'clock, I gotta get up. So that also means I have to go to bed early, right? Yep. So just finishing my show and uh, going to bed. That's all that's left. Yep. I even I ain't I ain't even going to put a video together rendering them. Um, speaking of today, I'm just going straight to bed. I can do that on the weekend when I'm at home because uh, I got pretty much all of my videos done yesterday so I'm not even that far behind I think I only got I don't think I did yesterday's video yet but so it'll be today and tomorrow's video or yesterday's video and tomorrow's video so it'll be three videos I can do at home no problem and uh, yeah that's about all I got I guess so we'll see you guys again tomorrow or you'll get to see me again tomorrow at least. So that stay tuned for that. And then we'll see what we'll be up to for tomorrow. So thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. And I hope tomorrow will be another good one. So we'll see you again. behind me that day is gonna come